You may have had a provider order an ionized calcium on one of your patients and you're like, hmm, why are they ordering an ionized calcium when I already have the patient's serum calcium on their BMP? Well, it's important to recognize that there's a difference between a patient's serum calcium and their ionized calcium. And here's what they are. The serum calcium is the total calcium in the blood, total calcium, all of it. However, there are multiple forms of calcium, including ionized calcium. Ionized calcium is also known as free calcium, which is calcium in its most active form. So why do we check ionized calciums on patients? Well, a lot of patients when they're in the hospital, they're sick, obviously, or they're having surgery or something going on. And these reasons right here are reasons why we may want to be checking a patient's ionized calcium level. First and foremost, if you watched my last video, I just talked about how blood transfusions can lower calcium levels. So go check that out if you want to learn more. But uh, if you're getting blood transfusions, it can cause your calcium level to drop. So we We'll check an ionized calcium to see if we need to replace any calcium after a blood transfusion. Also patients that are critically ill or on IV fluids that can cause their calcium to change if they're having major surgery or if they're having abnormal levels of blood proteins like albumin. So now when a provider orders an ionized calcium on your patient, you can be like, okay, I know exactly why they are ordering this ionized calcium and not just looking at the serum calcium level. 